Good day, good day. How <laughs> oh, the honk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And I am finally getting around to showing you this model right here. I don't, I don't know which one to show you first. Uh, I guess we'll start with the beginning of the story. Yes, uh, this here is what you would call a dinky toys made in, land, in England Land Rover and this is um, a 27D no the uh, yes the 340 27D and uh, yeah you know I'm gonna tell you what right now I don't know nothing about these <laughs> oh but this guy does David Christie, he's uh, my buddy down in South Australia. I'm going to tag his uh, video. He's got a video. I'm going to tag that up here. And uh, he does the uh, Dinky Toys 27D uh, 340, the Land Rover Variations. He goes uh, and uh, uh, goes into more detail, de detail in depth on that. Uh, so thanks a lot, David. We're going to promote your video there. Um, He's good. He's a good friend of mine. Yes, we have done some trade boxes. We're kind of taking a hiatus right now because shipping is for squat right now. Thank you very much, COVID-19. But uh, anyway, he has got a selection of these 340s, uh, unlike mine. Uh, and uh, so if you really want to see some very nice... Um, examples and more details and more information on this uh, particular model go over there and check him out as well all right uh, but in the meantime stick around I'm going to show you and tell you about what I've got here uh, this is the first one that I acquired um, yes quite a story uh, I, I lived in uh, Toma Wisconsin for uh, over uh, 20 years with my family and um, I went to a uh, toy tractor show at the fairgrounds Monroe County Fairgrounds in Toma and this guy had this poor thing now it, it does have a, another tire that goes on there but uh, this is the condition that I found it in uh, really not bad of paint job and all. I'm not really sure what kind of sticker we put on there, but it's got the dude and he's not doing too bad. Uh, the windshield is not really bent all that much. Uh, it is missing, uh, characteristically, the front uh, uh, part of the uh, wing to the uh, front uh, bumper, but really not bad. The, the worst part of it all is the tires, and I know that you can buy... Uh, replacement tires but it's just like this is uh, original this is what I found it this is how I found it uh, I do store this in a cabinet with uh, a little um, sitting on something whatever it is I don't know what it is but <laughs> it sits on something so it sits sits flat and kind of gets off of these tires you know and uh but yeah, there it is. It's very, very nice. Like I say, I, I don't remember this being so nice. Uh, like I say, I could put replacement tires on this and I could get a better score and uh, clean off this goo here. But like I said, I like to kind of keep my stuff, uh, especially like this. This is in very, very nice shape. I like to keep it in original as I found it. So as I said, I found this uh, at a uh, tractor uh, toy show. And uh, the guy there, oh man, he was not budging. I walked out and went back in, walked out, went back in, and finally at the end of the day, I did finally end up paying $95, or uh, $35, excuse me, $35 for it. I scraped together, I hemmed and hawed. That was a lot of money, uh, and uh, I, I still think it is a lot of money for this. But uh, it was, uh, you know, it was there. Uh, I didn't have to pay for shipping. Like I say, it is a very decent model, except for, you know, the front bumper there. Um, and, and the tires, which, you know, you can replace. 
Uh, so, so not so bad. Uh, but I remember, oh, it was tough. I had one of my kids with me, and uh, we went back and forth. And <laughs> you know, should I, should I spend it? Should I not? You know. And uh, this is quite a few years ago. This is probably, like I say, uh, this is uh, early on in my collecting career uh, as uh, a Land Rover collector, toy collector. So this was probably, uh, oh, good 10 years ago, if not more. But uh, so that was the first one that I've got. And uh, that's uh, very dear and near uh, to me. I, I really appreciate that. I really like that. Now these other two, I believe I got off eBay and uh, not quite as uh, good a condition as you see. Um, yes, uh, matter of fact, this one has got mismatched tires. I believe, um, I don't even believe these are originals. These are, are, are aftermarkets too. Uh, even the hub there is broken on this one. Uh, luckily the spare there is a good yet. Uh, the trailer uh, is trailer hitch is bent even the casting on the the rear there is broke uh but yeah this might be original tire here but then uh this this big honker holy cow look at that it is a lesney england tire but that does not belong on this this model uh that's for sure uh because this is a dinky toys not a lesney <laughs> Leslie toy and uh, look out holy cow look at that uh, windshield there that got knocked right down but I believe that the uh, w the steering wheel is original now we're missing the dude yeah well with the windshield like that you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, uh, probably figure that the the dude would be around uh, the the uh, front bumper is there but it is uh, bent back yeah but I have an orange one. Yeah, they, they have several models. Like I say, go over there and uh, look at Dave's models. This one I got off of eBay, I believe. Uh, 10 bucks, not bad, not bad. I don't think I paid much for shipping either. It's in a, I don't know why they, they thought that they needed a plastic wrap it, probably because of the wheels. But I don't believe these are original wheels either. I think they only came in the gray. I think these are uh, different kind of corgi wheels, which, uh, you know, uh, are okay, you know, but uh, yeah, uh, they are not, they are not dinky toys. Yeah, that's the original wheel right there. And I'm not really sure if that's the original steering wheel there. I, I don't believe it is. I don't believe it is. Yeah, that's a, I think that is uh, from another, uh, I think, doesn't that come from uh, Corgi? Yeah, I think so. But uh, another nice example, I mean, you know, for 10 bucks, these, these call for premium prices, I tell you. That's why I only have uh, three of them, and uh, they're pretty beat up shape because they, they call for big, big money. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they, so these came out in like 1966 all the way up to 1970s. Um, and I, you know, just recently, kind of uh, to the date of the filming of this video, I tried to get the number 351, the trailer, the orange trailer, and I lost out on that because they were just going for mad money. That's right, mad money. So there you go. I know you guys, uh, this is a very popular model for uh, Land Rover collectors. Very heavy, you know, it's a very heavy model. Uh, very very nice i'm very happy to have these in my collection but this would be my 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 pride and joy the the crown of my dinky uh 340 uh collection here is this one it's just quite a story and a find right there in my hometown you know so so very very cool very kind of cool i like that all right well we're gonna wrap it up for you today thank you for joining me your friend dano and uh yeah comment down below give me a thumbs up and most importantly subscribe yeah give me a subscribe smash that subscribe button will you come over to facebook at roverland and at instagram roverland channel and check us out over there all right all right there you go thank you very much for joining me keep calm and uh, stay safe 
And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.